Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to tell you about a little known WordPress security tweak that you should all be doing that is really easy to do and it protects your site from potential hackers. What it is, is deleting inactive themes and plugins. Even if the themes and plugins are deactivated, if they have security vulnerabilities, hackers may still get access to them and ultimately access to your website. So you want to make sure you delete inactive themes and plugins. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Here we are on the WordPress dashboard. To get to the themes area, all you do is hover over appearance. You actually click on appearance or hover over it and then click on themes. On the next page, we see the theme that's currently activated, which is the Aveda child theme. So we need these two. This is the child theme here, and this is the full theme. But the ones that we don't need are the deactivated themes, which include Good News, Nirvana, 2015, 2014, 2013, and 2012. So I'm going to delete all the inactive ones because they potentially have security vulnerabilities either now or in the future. And to protect my site, I don't want to leave that option open to hackers. So to delete a theme, all you have to do is click on the theme details. And then there's a small delete link in the bottom right. Click on that. Then click OK. Unfortunately for the themes, there is no bulk deleting. You gotta go through each one manually. And if you're if you think that you might need a theme in the future, you can always download it again and reactivate it at that point. But there's no point in keeping it on your site and potentially leaving the door open for hackers because these themes can always be downloaded again in the future. And we're on the last one. Okay, so now we only have the active Aveda theme on this site, no other ones. And we want to do the same for the plugins. We have over plugins and click on installed plugins. We will see a list of all the plugins on the site. And as you can see, there are some updates available, which I'm going to update as well. But first, I'm going to delete all the inactive ones. As you can see, this plugin, Backup WordPress, actually has an update available, which may or may not be a security update, I don't know, but it, this theme is at, or this plugin is actually deactivated. So even though the, the plugin is deactivated, updates still become available, and if you feel that you must keep that plugin on your site, please make sure you update them when updates become available, even if they're inactive. But I'm going to go ahead and delete all the inactive plugins. There's a link at the top. There's a bunch of links actually. One is called inactive, and in brackets it has number five after it, which means there are five inactive plugins on this site currently. When we click on the inactive link, we see all the inactive ones, and I'm gonna click on the checkbox in the top left, click on the bulk actions menu, choose delete, and then click on apply. On the next page, it lists the plugins we're deleting, then you have to click yes, delete these files and data. And now all the inactive plugins are gone. And I will quickly update the plugins that need updating, just because that's also good security practice. But the main focus of this video was removing deactivated themes and plugins because they do present security vulnerabilities for your website. It's a really easy security tweak, and I highly recommend that you do it on your site right now. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. I hope this video helped you. Please make sure you share it and like it. If it did help you, check out our social media feeds, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.